I always been inspired by cartoons, all the curves and tiny ways. I'm really happy with how I look now, but I still see things that could be fixed. Getting my ribs removed, I have been thinking about for a long time. It's always been like a, a dream of mine. That was our guest, Pixie, who made news recently when she announced she wanted to have six of her ribs removed by a doctor in her quest to get a 14-inch waist. She found that doctor in Indianapolis plastic surgeon, Dr. Barry Epley, who, after consulting with Pixie, agreed to do the controversial procedure. Pixie also had an outside documentary company tag along to tape the entire ordeal. It's really hard to find a surgeon, almost impossible. The only reason why I can do it now is because Doctors finally started taking me seriously because they see that I'm not a crazy person. I know what I'm doing. There's nothing complex, extraordinary, or unduly difficult about it. Uh, it does require an extremely motivated patient, and I think certainly Pixie would qualify. A motivated patient is somebody who can accept the scars that come from the procedure as well as is prepared for the discomfort in the short term that comes from taking several rips. It's not an operation which feels great afterwards, but certainly she's about as motivated a person as you're going to find. Rib number three, let me know. After a little six bottles. It's crazy. I can't believe that just happened. It's been a few months since that rib removal surgery took place. Pixie joins us and I'm going to be honest with you, I think we're all a bit flabbergasted. Very difficult, not only to watch that surgery, but quite honestly, to watch just the severe transformation. Um, I, I want to ask you medically, purely medically, what was the re what's the recovery been like after losing your ribs? Well, actually, the recovery went super, super good. Uh, I have had a long discussion with the surgeon, uh, and uh, he said six weeks recovery. I was back in my corset two days later. Uh, one to two weeks later, I was back in a gym. Can you stand up real quick? Yeah. I just. I mean. Pixie. So. And and Pixie, what? I thought you were beautiful in your your pictures before you did anything. I mean, uh, stunning, stunning, stunning. Before before you touched anything. Thank you. But yeah, you obviously but, uh, you you didn't feel that way. No, it's actually it's not about um, it's not about everyone think it's because I want attention or I didn't like myself before. Actually, I loved myself before. I really did. And I used to be an electrician. I worked in a small town, and I'm really like passionate and going for things. And like my family always said, you're you're good at everything, but you're not really good at anything. And then until I found that's plastic. not a compliment. <laughs> no, a that compliment. is a compliment. Well, that means you, that you, I'm a good in a lot of things. But this, I'm really I, good at this. <laughs> Obviously, you know, I found other, my thing. <laughs> I'm good. Know, the at. other thing that that strikes me, you started in that picture, which we all agree you looked wonderful. Mm -hmm. But but you say you're not done yet. You 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 see you say there's still more to do. Yeah. I mean that. What's your goal? Again, you, that thinking is... What are you trying to do? My is goal right. is to do what makes me happy. To do what makes you happy? What makes me happy. Are you happy right now? Are you I happy today? I am super today? happy right now, and I love what I'm doing. I've never been so happy in my complete life. I, for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm doing the right thing for me. I have a vision of how I want to look, and I'm really close to that. So, so what, else, what else do you need to do? What to else I need to do? Exactly I have some like. plans, and I'm not revealing this right now. You're gonna have to follow me to know. <laughs> uh, and uh, but I'm close to my vision. Yes. More with this story when we return.